The UK is full of people that are hurting. Rising levels of violent crime. And they're spiritually searching for something, crying inside, they don't know where to turn. All the chaos that uh, so many things happening around us. Questions about uh, morality of people and national roles. Our land requires healing. And there is a root at the moment that's growing in terms of division within this country and we cannot allow that to happen. Many of us look out across the nation of Britain, look at what's happening in our country, in our society. We see brokenness, uh, we see problems in our community. We have moved away from God and what he has taught us, his love for us and working for him, uh, working in the ways that he has called us to. And only when he reaches out now and heals our land will we see anything being restored again. So it's a great prayer of my heart and I think the great prayer of many Christians' hearts to see the Lord heal our land here in the UK. Heal our land, it seemed to me, spoke exactly to those needs that we have in our communities and our society to bring healing. And ultimately, that's about God's healing. It's about God's reconciliation. You know, we can't do this by ourselves. None of us can. What I see is how God has been silently working and preparing the hearts of the people and now they see the land is a glue which will unite all that. The time has come when we need to come together as, as, as one church, one voice with one message that Jesus Christ died for people that he wants to save them and touch their lives. A strong prayer base is the foundation. I do believe and um, the prayers that have been going up for many many uh, groups in the nation and churches and have come to the throne of God and he's hearing our cry and that it is time. I'm always excited when I see God's people starting to focus on something that really counts. We'll see answers to prayer and we've got to continue to be the salt and light in this nation no matter how dark it may seem. I thought it was a fantastic opportunity to reach out to the young people and to the adults in the land that in the broken. This, this, the shape the nation's in at the minute, it, it needs some change to happen. The young people today are, are searching for the truth, um, but they're searching in all the wrong places. And this is, this is an opportunity where we can guide them um, to search in the right place for the truth and uh, find salvation in Jesus Christ. With the shaking of the nations, the whole financial crisis and all that's happening in Britain today, the breakdown of family life and all the rest of it, uh, through that, God is giving us the greatest opportunity for evangelism that we've had, I believe, for over a hundred years. And Heal Our Land is just that vehicle uh, that will enable us uh, to um, uh, equip the church, to equip people, uh, and, and to inspire people to get out and evangelize. But it starts, of course, in repentance. That's where we have to start. Father, would you come today and just give us a passion for this nation like never before. Lord, in a day when your church just seems out of answers to the overwhelming problems before us, thank you that our God is a God of new days and new things. So we pray, Lord, as we humble ourselves, as we seek your face, would you hear our voice and answer from heaven and heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen. The production in itself is going to be remarkable. We are believing that, that we're going to be creating a whole new sound. We call it the sound of heaven. The young people, the older people, traditional music and new music, all coming together, fusing together to give glory to God. We needed to create a sound that reflects not only what we're trying to achieve at Heal Our Land, but also what the, all the churches are trying to achieve, which is not just a, a musical sound, but a spiritual sound. A sound that when we actually stand and sing, that we can actually make inroads in the spiritual realm. It's an honor to be working with people like Gene Darnell, uh, Pastor Jack Hayford, um, Jimmy and Carol Owens, Clifford and Monica Hill, and more and more of these leaders that are, are coming alongside and mentoring this new generation. 
To me, that is one of the most exciting parts of Heal Our Land. I think it's going to be a very important initiative, not just to bring all the churches together, but to actually motivate them and to get them out into mission again and to understanding and to taking a, some kind of a responsibility for what is happening in our nation. So my vision is to see where every place where Heal Our Land takes place is that place to be swamped with evangelistic activity right across the board. Everything we can dream up, everything we can go for, everything God provides for, so that that community know the church is alive and well, Jesus died for them, Jesus rose from dead and Jesus loves them. We've got to see mission as global. Yes, we, we can't forget that responsibility, but we also have to see that God has brought people from the nations here so that they can come to Christ in the streets of our nation. I believe that God is going to give us a fresh understanding of what he did on the cross, that we're going to love Jesus like we've never loved him before, and that love is just going to flow into the streets and into the homes of the people in this nation. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, that is the starting point for evangelism, and that's what Heal Our Land will do. This is the reason why everyone should really get behind this, because it's a God-given opportunity for such a time as this. I just want to emphasize that this is going to be not just a performance, but it's actually a catalyst to help you to reach your community, irrespective of how small, how large your church is, or your community, your town, your village, your city. And so what I'd like to do is to encourage you to begin to get involved right now. You don't even have to wait until you have a preview or people from Heal Our Land UK to come and talk to you. You can begin to pray now. Look at your community and your church. Find out those areas which need healing. Begin to pray into those areas now. Contact us on the website, which you're going to see on the screen. Call us in the office, but begin now. Don't wait any longer. There is an urgency, and we need to begin now by prayer and linking together with others. Thank you so much. God bless you.